In this video, we're going to learn about stewing. Now, stewing is a combination cooking method, meaning that we're going to use principles of moist heat and dry heat transfer for our final product. Uh, stewing is very, very similar to braising, so check out our braising video uh, and see the similarities. We're using the same base ingredients to make our stew uh, as we did for our braise, um, so you can really look at the difference in method. Now, probably the biggest difference between a stew and a braise is the size of the meat that we're using. So uh, whereas a braise is going to be whole pieces of meat, um, so we're using chicken today for our stew, so in our braise we used uh, chicken legs and thighs, um, we're using small pieces uh, of chicken. They're cut about uh, one inch pieces. Okay. <clears throat> and you can see here our nice one inch cut pieces. So for our stew, uh, we're going to start uh, by preheating our pan. Um, we're going to start by uh, searing our chicken, and we need to make sure that we have a nice hot pan uh, for that. So over about medium-high heat, uh, I have this pan preheating. Um, so while the pan is preheating, we'll go ahead and we'll prep our chicken uh, and our flour. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and season our chicken with just a little bit of salt, as well as our flour with a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Okay. Get that seasoning into my flour. All right, so I'm going to take my chicken and I'm going to get it into my flour. And I'm just going to toss it. Um, I don't want there to be like a big clump of chicken. I want nice individual pieces uh, of chicken. And I'm actually going to shake off um, a lot of the flour before I add it into, uh, into my pot to brown. All right, so I have my chicken nicely dredged. Uh, as you can see, I have my nice individual pieces that are all individually co uh, coated in the flour. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my fat into my pan. Uh, I'm using clarified butter. Um, if you're going to use butter, I would definitely suggest clarified. Uh, the whole butter uh, is uh, going to smoke. Um, clarified butter has that higher uh, smoke point, but you could use really any fat you wanted. Uh, we're just using clarified butter. This pan is already pretty nice and hot. Um, in our braising video, uh, as well as our sautéing video, uh, we showed how to uh, gauge that hot pan. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get our chicken pieces into our pan here, into our pot here. Okay. And we're going to kind of just put them individually across the bottom of the pan. Um, I don't want to have like a big mound of this, of these chicken pieces in my pan here. So as you can see, I have a nice even layer of chicken across the bottom of my pan. I don't have a big mound. I want to make sure that there's enough space in the pan so that the chicken can brown instead of steam. And if the pan's too crowded or there's too, you know, it's layered too much, uh, it's going to, uh, to steam instead of brown. Um, you can also see uh, that I left, uh, you know, a good amount of flour on my chicken. There's even some uh, in the pan, and that's okay. That's all going to incorporate into my sauce. Um, and we'll look at the difference uh, between our braising liquid, where I really shook off a lot of that flour, uh, and our stew. Um, so this, I anticipate this sauce is going to be a little thicker, whereas my braise is going to be a little thinner because I removed some of that flour. Um, and we'll talk more about that. Uh, when we get to finishing uh, our, our stew uh, here later in this video. Uh, so the same uh, principles are going to apply. Uh, I want to make sure that my chicken pieces are well browned. Um, I'm not going to, you know, bother them. I'm not going to, you know, try to pry them off the bottom of the pan. 
I'm just going to let them uh, cook in the pan uh, until they're nice and brown. Once they get brown on one side, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give them a stir, flip them over, and get them nice and brown on all sides. So we'll check back in with you once our chicken is nicely browned. All right, so our chicken has browned. You can see we have a nice, consistent brown color across our chicken pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and add some of our flavor ingredients. In this case, we're using some garlic, some woody herbs, uh, and some carrot pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and just toss this in with our chicken. And I'm gonna let this all kind of just cook together. Uh, this will let our chicken uh, continue to brown even a little bit more. Uh, it'll sweat out our vegetables uh, and our uh, flavor ingredients a little bit. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and add our, um, our stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my lemon pieces at this point. All right, so my garlic is starting to brown just a little bit. Okay, getting that real nice cooked garlic smell, everything smelling nice and aromatic. I'm gonna go ahead and deglaze with my wine. As always, when we deglaze, we wanna make sure we're scraping the bottom of the pan to really release that fond. Finally, we're going to add our stock. If I was going to add a sachet uh, or bay leaves, uh, this is uh, where I would add that uh, at this point right now in the, the process. So just like with our braise, uh, we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and then we can finish this either in the oven uh, or on the stovetop. Uh, so we are gonna finish this braise, uh, in this case, on the stovetop, but again, uh, same method to finish with uh, in the oven as well. We're just going to cover, bring up to a simmer, and be especially sure to not boil our stew. Same as with our braise or any of our uh, moist heat cooking methods. Uh, if we boil the meat, it's going to get tough uh, and dry instead of that really uh, nice shredded apart, uh, in this case, stew that we're looking for. So we'll check back in once our, uh, our, our stew's finished cooking. All right, so it's been about an hour uh, and our chicken is nice and tender. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and finish our stew. Um, something that I'm gonna wanna do for this, as this has kind of simmered, um, I've developed a little bit of a scum and some grease along the top of the, the pan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skim that off. I'm just using a spoon here. Just any of that kind of scum or accumulated grease. All right, that looks a little bit nicer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and evaluate this now, and I can see that my chicken is really nice and tender, and that's exactly what I wanna see. All right, so my chicken is really nice and tender. As you can see, I have a nice together piece, but just with my tongs here and my spoon, I can really easily pull that chicken apart. And that's exactly what I wanna see. It's nice and together, but very tender and easily able to pull apart. So to finish this sauce, um, I first am gonna to wanna to thicken it just a little bit. It's just on the thin side. Uh, so I'm gonna use a slurry. In our braising video, we added a roux to thicken our sauce. Uh, for our uh, stew video today, we're gonna to use just a little bit of slurry. Slurry being starch and water raw. So I added just a touch of slurry and I'm gonna let this come back up to a simmer. And while this is thickening, I'm gonna give it a little taste here. And it's gonna need just a little bit of salt and pepper. Always 
always want to taste again after we season. Mm, and that's perfect. All right. And our stew is nicely thickened. All right, there you have it. Let's review. First, stewing is a combination heat transfer method, meaning that we're going to use dry heat transfer to brown our product and moist heat transfer to finish cooking the stew. Next, stewing is generally done with small or bite-sized pieces of food, whereas braising is going to use larger pieces. Finally, when finishing the sauce, Check and see if it needs to be uh, skimmed. Any fat or scum that's accumulated at the top should be removed. We can thicken with either a roux or a slurry uh, and then finish with the seasoning.